To understand about the V var tokens, let me tell the VCRV first because they got an inspiration from VCRV, right? Rocking time, max is four years with one CRV equal one VCRV. Hi, hello, I'm Samasa. So today's an invest review for the balancer token called VAL. Since I'm gonna update the total score of the balancer VAL token, so let's review it. Okay. So here's my portfolio chip. So I own the Oracle assets at Bitcoin and I own the Oracle which led to Z7 categories on the right side. Then if you want to deepen your understanding about my portfolio chip, please check out my video about my portfolio chip. Then here's my video link. Okay. Then today's matching category for the balancer is of course DEX. They are the one of the major DEX player. Okay. Then as usual, I'm gonna apply the six Anaka points to stand for the pain points, products, team, execution power, token economy, and a hype cycle. For each, I set the five point zero point here. So the total score is thirty point three zero. Then if you want to deepen your understanding about my, how I'm gonna analyze each point here, please check out my video about my altcoin investment strategy. Then here's my video link. Okay. Then here is total score updates about barrel tokens. So last time, October 2020, total score is 25.0 point. Then this time, November 2022, total score is 25.5 points. Then my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm going to continue to recommend investment in browser token, BAO. Okay? Then these remark area here, such as product, I'm going to update the total score. Then these remark area here, such as pain points, team, Execution power, token economy, and hype cycle. There is no squad change, but I have a critical update about that project. Especially, I have not analyzed, you know, bar token for a long time. So this time, I have updates for every single aspect on this project at this moment. Okay. Then let's start here. Pinpoint analysis. So I'm gonna update pinpoint about this dex. Okay. So C5 control your money while DeFi does not. Look at this news. For example, from Coindesk, Theresius, former CEO of bankrupt crypto lender Celsius, cashes out 960k in sell USDC data shows. We cannot trust sell founder, right? Then the other one, SBF, Armida quietly uses FTS customer funds for trading. Why these kind of things happen here on CFI? That's a big question, right? Let me tell the answer here. Look at this one. CFI control your money. Because once you're going to deposit money into the CFI, you're not going to control your money anymore. The platform exchange itself, they're going to control your money. That's why they can use it if they want, right? DeFi never happens. That kind of things never happens. Why? Because once you're going to allocate your assets to like some kind of like Uniswap or Aave or something, it's a self custody approach. So you still keep your assets inside of your DeFi wallets, such as MetaMask or Coinbase wallets in other DeFi wallets, right? That's why platform player cannot control your money. And also these platform run by DAO. That is why it's purely clearly transparent for the any kind of asset transactions, any kind of treasury management of the platform here. That is why there is zero risk that Celsius travel, FTX, that kind of things travel happen here on the DEX. Zero risk about this point. That's why we need a DeFi. Then here's the requirement for the idea of DEX. Number one, user can access to multiple crypto assets with a single account and once liquidity, right? The second one, non custodian on the system to protect your assets from such kind of like a C5 travels like FTX or Celsius, okay? Then number two, proc analysis. I updated a score here. Let me, tell the re let me tell the reason here, okay? First one is here, DEX TV updates. Look at this number, Uniswap Cob, especially Cob Finance, all right? Cob Finance is a later player in the DEX, but they are the major rival and sometimes they got kind of overwhelmed Uniswap, their TVL with their TVL size. Currently, it's bear trend, so that's why in the TVLs of the car finance, a little bit behind the Uniswap, but in a bridge trend, car finance TVL is 
almost three times or four times bigger than Uniswap. Why? Right? That's big questions. Let me tell you the answer here. This one, cow pool. Extremely different from Uniswap. Uniswap major pool does not exist. In a Uniswap, most of the you know, plus pair, asset pair on a Uniswap is like a small token, like an early stage tokens and an East pair. That's you know pretty popular pair on the Ethereum or like stable coin pair like USDC on those small tokens. But car finance, very, very different. Number one, their pool is STEs. Look at the TVO size, around 800 million. It's actually the biggest pool on the DEX. Other you know, pool is also focused on stable asset pair, like three pool means DAI, USDC, USDT, those three pool. And FRAX is also another decent stable coin. You know, DEX have a unique feature such as three page and impairment rough risk for the yield farming. That is why Car Finance only focus on stable asset pair. With this model, they're gonna minimize impairment rough risk for the yield farming and also the three page for the any kind of transactions. Then with this model, they're gonna be a huge success. Number one DEX. It's actually pretty you know, high potential here to realize decentralized Visa or MasterCard network. That's why I love the car finance. All right. The another key element, the success of you know car ecosystem is this one. They are token economics. BECRB token economics brought deep liquidity in the carb because the selling pressure of the CRB token is the lowest one in the DEX or DeFi platform. Why? Look at this number here. BECRB dominates in long-term staking. They're going to compare ST, Aave, X, Sushi, and VECRV. Staking term longer than 12 months. Over 85% of CRV holder, they're going to choose longer than 12 months. Its actual number is 3.8 years. Maximum term is 4 years. It's amazing tractions, right? Then here's key things you have to understand here. This is also related to balance of product updates. Convex hold over 50% of VECRV. Then, let's move here. Balance of Newton Token Academies. So, to understand about the VVAL tokens, let me tell the VECRV first, because they got an inspiration from VECRV, right? Rocking time, max is four years, with one CRV equal one VECRV. Once you're gonna choose four years for the rocking period, you're gonna receive one CRV with one BCRV. Then also you can use this BCRV for your voting power on a cow that will govern us. Then once you're gonna get in a higher VECRV ratio, you're gonna get maximized revenue share from cow ecosystem. That's why every single player on a cow ecosystem prefer four years lockup, right? Then rocking in assets, CRV or CVX CRV. The only CVX CRV is equal one B CRV. Then you can buy CVX CRV on a car finance. That's why I see the PDP potential for the CVX CRV tokens, right? The third rule, revenue share pool. VECRV holder are the entitled to the share of 50% of corrected protocol fees. So the VECRV holder are competing each other to gain maximized number of 50% corrected protocol fees. That's so-called with carb war or convex war. Okay. Then VVAR. Max is one year. So pretty much shorter one than car finance. Because you know some of people criticize the four years too long. That is why you know bow they're gonna take the shorter period of one, right? That's why it's one year. But the game rule is the same. One bow equal one B E bow. Same as voting power, right? So longer staking can gain much bigger voting power, right? Then about liquidity assets, then about locking assets, a little bit different. 80 to 20 value W is prepare. They call it BPTS. Okay. Then third one, revenue share rule. VVAR holder are entitled to share seventy five percent of corrected protocol fee. That's how they're gonna compete with, you know, car finance ecosystem, right? You, you see this point here, right? 
Then I'm going to tell you why convex is an important player here from the carb ecosystem. But so called we call it the carb and the convex war. So currently convex finance, they're going to take over 50% of BECRB tokens. Then that is why now a lot of yield aggregate players such as Clever, Botin, Batcher, they're going to combine to gain VLCVX tokens. Because, you know, that's also the voting power on the convex. Then once you're going to receive bigger BLCVX token, your governance power on convex finance gets also bigger. That is why your revenue share ratio on this convex finance through the car finance is also bigger. That's why we call it curve and convex war. So these days, you know, a lot of those yield aggregated player, they're going to develop the product on top of convex finance still. The Clever, Bodim is, you know, same one, right? So that is why Balancer, they're going to take the similar approach. It's completely actually the same as, you know, curve ecosystem. All of finance, just like a convex finance on a curve ecosystem, the BL order, same as BLCVX. So notion of finance, for example, they're going to develop their products, you know, leverage board product, like a clever product on top of all of finance. So that is why other yield aggregator, like a badger or Bodium, they're going to start to develop their similar product, like a notion of finance leverage board on top of all of finance. That's exactly Balancer wants to realize it to compete with, you know, calf ecosystem, right? Now, I do think that the all of finance is also built and run by Balancer. As same as convex finance is built and run by curve finance. It's completely the same. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. Then next one, number three, team analysis. So here's key member found in January 2019. So relatively old project on a Web3 space. So Fernando, co-founder CEO, still active. This is great. And the second guy, Marcus, head of the product, ex research engineer at the data scientist at the Brock Science, founder and expert manager at the MobWave, and he got the BS of engineering at the Universidad Federal de Santa Catalina. Okay. The third guy, Megan, director of marketing and communications, ex of head of marketing and communication at the Stockpile, BA of English Language University of Connecticut, the plus 20 members in America and Europe. It's a pretty good team. I like the you know, technical capability here. Okay. Then number four, execution power analysis. So here's token economy design metric which you made and the major matching category for them is DEX, right? Then their token economics is pretty similar to CVX CRV, right? So, so for your reference, I'm going to tell you the detail here. So starting point, define aggregators who wants to achieve higher APY on a curve ecosystem, buy more CVX CRV, then choose longest stake of CVX CRV or VCRV 
on cap to achieve high APY, as I told you. Right? Then less than pleasure of CVXCRB on exchange. So better customer experiences for CVXCRB holder. Right? Then by leveraging this growth model here, carb ecosystem grows on the second one here. Green one. More liquidity on the carb or more TV on convex. The deepest liquidity on the stable assets pair on the curve. So lowest three page plus lowest impairment loss risk for DeFi. That is why they can attract more DeFi greed in player. It's pretty beautiful network effect model. Then Balancer also take the similar approach here. Okay. Then benchmark analysis as of November 2022. Balancer, 209 million. Think about the TVF size and also 24 hour trading volume. Cow finance is 353 million. It's a relatively accurate, you know, market cap here. Not so big surprise for me. Okay. Then about governance now, relatively active. Okay. Then number six, hype cycle analysis. So as usual, blockchain web three hype cycle analysis, 2022 versions. Then their major matching category is blockchain wallet, smart contract, DeFi, stablecoin, decentralized exchange, web three, decentralized governance DAO, and then decentralized applications. Then especially these days, you know, because of the CFI travel. DeFi get a huge strong market momentum. This is also a great advantage for them, for the balancer. Okay. Then total scope updates. So this time, no about 2022, pain point, no change. Still, we need a you know huge successful DEX, right? So 5.0, product 4.0. You know, I think they are, you know, kind of I I like to get the inspiration from you know Carb ecosystem. They're gonna apply a similar approach. I like that 4.0. The team level 3.5. But simply because you know they just get the inspiration from Carb ecosystem, so it's not a difficult to implement. That's why. Okay. The extension power 4.0, still good traction level. Okay. The token economy 4.5. You know they're gonna apply the same token economics of CVXCRV. So I set the 4.5 here, same one. Hype cycle 4.5. So they're gonna get the pretty strong market momentum as DeFi player because of the FTX trouble. So 4.5. Okay. So total score is 25.5 points. So my minimum investing criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm going to continuously recommend investment in Balancer token, BOW. Okay. Then if you're interested in much more detailed information about my portfolio allocations and also my real-time buy and selling signal for every single crypto assets, including ICO, ID on DeFi, please think about to join my premium membership program, real-time buy and selling signal. The major purpose of this membership program to help to reach your crypto asset performance to my level here. The formal detail, please check out the video. Here's my video link. Okay. So that is all this time. So I'm gonna make this video for educational purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain revenue investment outcome with this video or any video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will partly help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and space. So I'm gonna make a lot of this video on crypto and space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.